Welcome back to our weekly review show, the first of the 2022-2023 season, where we'll be bringing you all the goals, extended highlights and exclusive interviews from across another action-packed season for the White Tigers. We start this week's episode by looking back to the first game of the season where the White Tigers headed to London to take on newly promoted Hamwell Town. Here's the best of the action. It was the perfect start for Paul Watkins' man as they opened the scoring inside four minutes. Will Dean's low strike hit the bottom corner after Rocky Neal's initial effort was saved by the keeper. More chances followed as they looked for a second. Neil was twice denied before the second goal finally came and added on time in the opening period. Last season's top goal scorer Tyler Harvey opened his account for the new season with a beautiful finish into the far corner after showing great strength and composure. City added a third midway through the second half. New signing Ben Adelsbury headed home a Will Dean free kick to put the game out of sight of the newly promoted hosts. Hamwell did give their fans something to cheer about though for a great strike from Adam Lurie. Truro still had chances to add to their tally, but 3-1 was how it finished as the White Tigers kicked off the new season in style. So a winning start to the new season for the White Tigers after a 3-1 victory over Hamwell Town in London on Saturday. We now hear the thoughts of manager Paul Watson, who spoke after the game. Uh, so Paul, a 3-1 win over Hamwell on the opening day, three goals, three points, a decent afternoon's work, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's really pleasing um, you know, when you come away from home on the first game of the season against the newly promoted side, so it was very, very difficult. Um, and it was set up perfectly for them today, red hot, you know, pitch is great and, you know, it's, um, we've had a long, long journey, but um, couldn't have asked for any more from the lads. I thought we, we were comfortable from, from the first minute, um, scored at really important times and um, overall I think we fully deserved the win. You mentioned about scoring important times, obviously scored very early on with Dino and then just before half-time with Tyler. How important were those goals at those times? Well, I think it was, we, we spoke about before the game, we spoke about all week in training about um, we, had to, we had to knock the enthusiasm out of Hanwell because, you know, they're on the crest of a wave, haven't been promoted and, you know, they're coming into the game, for their first game at step three and um, the goal instantly knocked that out of them. So um, that was really key. And then... The goal bang on half time is always a great time to score. Um, you know, we should have had more than that first half, really. Um, and the goal, I got, I haven't seen many better goals than that. Either. It's unbelievable, unbelievable goal from Tyler. Um, second half, it's a half time team talk, the same as every manager in the team, keep doing the same stuff, don't get complacent. Um, and we, we scored a, a set piece off, off Benno, and then um, we controlled the game. I mean, they scored totally against a run of play, and you know, at, at no point did I think it was was we in any threat so um, and we managed the game out at the end it was a bit ugly but we just you know, turned them at the right times and got through and did you did you know much about Hamwell coming to this game it's a newly promoted side it's one you don't really know too much obviously coming into the league I, I, I knew quite a bit because uh, I had footage of them in their game against QPR 23s um, I knew they played the diamond um, so we knew we had to you know we couldn't really and unless we matched them up um, we couldn't really go and press them so we sat off the game and closed all the spaces off. And today it worked. On another day it might not, but today it did. So overall, just a, a happy, happy afternoon. For you. It's perfect. I mean, you know me now. I don't really, you know, it's first game of the season, but we can enjoy the bus ride home. That's really important. And the the boys are gelling. We got we got four boys injured today who who would normally be in the squad. So the squad depth's good. Um, so listen, we, it's a good day for us. A good day for Chura. We also caught up with new signing Ollie Haste, who reacted to his first White Tigers outing. So Ali, first 90 minutes under the belt for Truro and three points to start the new season. Perfect afternoon, isn't it? Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better result, really. I mean, we came in with the intention to, you know, go and do our thing. And for the first 90 minutes in the league for a new club, I'm 
feeling good and feeling happy to be here. And obviously you, you played last week against Torquay as a trialist, you had your first training session last week, first 90 minutes, how have you found last week so far? Yeah, all the boys are great, uh, really welcoming and a, a great level of football uh, that we play week in week out, so yeah, I'm happy. And me to be a part of it. And for you, an 18 year old, you want to obviously got a pro, pro contract for you, but we, you come here, is, is, what's your aims whilst you're trying to get, get minutes? Or? Uh, get as much experience as possible in the men's game, uh, you know, up my physicality, uh, little tricks of the trade, and I know I can learn a lot from Gaffer here, and uh, yeah, all, all of that good stuff about coming to a loan club and learning. And perfect start today, three points as well, and yeah. three goals, and disappointing to concede the, the yeah. goal. But. Yeah, it's a shame to concede because obviously we want to keep a clean sheet and it was looking like we were going to. I thought we defensively were on top today, but yeah, I mean, let's go and do it next week and get that clean sheet, which I'm confident we're going to do. It's the first of two home fixtures this coming week for the White Tigers, starting on Saturday when Dorchester Town are the visitors. City have a fantastic record against the Magpies with three wins and a draw in their last four matches. Jamie Richards scored the only goal of the game in a 1-0 win over the Magpies here last season, while in the reverse fixture in Dorset, Tyler Harvey's goal midway through the second half was cancelled out by a late equaliser in a 1-0 draw. Another Dorset-based side of the visitors on Wednesday night as Paul Town head to Belifo for the first midweek game of the season. City did the league double over the Dolphins last season with a 3-0 win here and then a 4-1 away victory in Dorset. For action and reaction from both of those games, tune into next week's episode. I've been Cameron Weldon and thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.